Hiya guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench. And today I have a new video for you. And today I'm going to talk about buying secondhand kits. Yes, buying secondhand started whatever kits. How you can save yourself a lot of money and how by using your eyes you can come up with some real bargains. So um, this is the kit I'm talking about. You know how sometimes you go to a show, you see a model built and it's a model that you know, you know the subject, you know, sort of. Um, at least you know what the subject is and you kind of see it built up and you think wow you know I've seen the kit loads of times but I've never seen one built up and it's really beautiful in your face you know it's really really nice to see so and that kit for me was this that being this kit here the Merit Trumpeter 1939 HMS Art Royal and it's a it's a beautiful kit you see it's quite a big box it's 1350 a scale um, it comes with lots and lots of aircraft, as you can see on the side of the box there. And it's really, really nice. Um, as I say, I've seen a few reviews of it. There's one or two build, or at least one build online you can go and see. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful, beautiful model. When you see it in the flesh, you know, with the red and the gray and the, the, the way the hull is shaped and everything, it's really, really nice. It's very, very sort of slender, it's beautiful. Um, so ever since then I've had to get one and then I went and looked at the price oh, I almost fell out of my chair it's like 140 550 pound obviously you can find it cheaper elsewhere but uh, I thought there's no way I'm paying that for it so I just kept trolling eBay looking for it and then this one popped up and I bid on it and I won it and I'm really really glad I won it so let's have a quick look and see what I got and, uh, and then I'll tell you what I paid for it and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so as I say, the whole subject of this video is all about buying secondhand kits, using your eyes, looking around and seeing what's out there. So as you can see here, we've got the box with all the parts laid in it, and you'll notice the parts aren't in bags. Um, that's because this kit had been started. Now, a lot of people I know will look at kits that have been started. No, I don't want it, I'm not interested. But with this one, all that had been done is the glue, the glue, the glue halves, the hull halves had been glued together. And unfortunately, the guy that did it used super glue. And as you know, I don't like sticking major parts of super glue due to cracks. And because of that, it was quite easy to get apart. Um, certainly the main seam along here, I literally just broke it. It just snapped away. And then on the ends, I had to do put some acetone in there and get some softening going up. But we got in there and we got it all apart. In fact, on the back, I even managed to retain the pins as you can see now these in here you have like cross members going across obviously the pins on those snapped off because I couldn't get the acetone to pe to penetrate without just melting the plastic so I just cut them off redrilled them remade the pins which you'll see in a minute but this isn't a review but this is all about getting something that you want cheap so as I say there aren't many reviews of this so we'll have a very quick look through the instructions so the kit number is 65307 it is Merit Merit is basically Trumpeter Hobby Boss, same company. Um, I think they make it for them under license or something, and then but it's all come. You can see by these instructions, it's all made by the same manufacturer. So basically, it's Hart Royal as she appeared in 1939. So if you want to build one of a later date, you'll have to look around for some optional extras and stuff and start adding stuff. Like here, they've got a degaussing cable. I don't think she had a degaussing cable in 1939, but whatever. So even here we've got the sprue call outs. As you can see, I've ticked these just to make sure I've been through and checked that everything is there. That's the first thing you want to do when you buy a, a second hand kit, even if you know, even if it's still bag sealed, you just want to check that a bag could have fallen out, they may have bought the kit and had a you know check for broken parts, whatever, it's always worth doing. So we've got basically sprue call out. As you can see, there's not very much to it at all. I think this kit is actually a little overpriced to be honest. When you consider this is like £145. Um, you know, that's more than a Tamiya Mogami. Um, it's only a little bit less than a Tamiya um, Yamato Premium, which is worth the money. Um, you know, so it's half the price of a 200 scale Yamato. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, so the construction is a little bit weird. Uh, you put all these side pieces in, which are the hanger decks and everything, with all the bulkheads and that and them and the railings into the sides. And then you actually assemble the whole house together, which is a, a bit silly. I would assemble the whole halves together so you can deal with the seam and then add these detail parts in later. Um, 
and then you're going to add your guns, your main flight deck, and then you've got a crane going in here. Um, they tell you to make eight of the guns on the side. These are the 114 millimeter barrel, um, not bofors, are they? They're not bofors. I can't remember what they are now, but they're basically some big old guns. So uh, they're pretty good. There's uh, six of those. Sorry, eight of those. And then you've got your um, propeller shafts and screws going in everything down there. Uh, they're showing the rudder is being in place. I don't remember adding the rudder. Maybe you're supposed to add the rudder. Yes, you add the rudder in this stage here. Um, so yeah, you're adding all your propeller shafts and everything. And then you've got your bofors going together. And then adding life rafts to the side. We've got some catwalks going on the side. And then we've got these things here, which I don't know what they are. But if you wouldn't mind telling me, I'd love to know what they are. They stick out the sides and they pivot up and they hang down. Uh, there's many pictures of her sort of leaning over just before her demise. And you can see these things hanging out. I'd love to know what they are. Um, and then we're adding some more railings around the sides, as you can see. Some more of these things which hang out on the sides. And then we've got catwalks around the end there. And then um, more of those things on the sides. And then we're into more of those things. And we're adding cranes and lifeboats and stuff, or ships boats, should I say. And we've got some more details going on. Then we're on to the main bridge itself, or the island, should I say. And then we've got the funnel going on top of there. Some more gun placements going around. And then we're into aircraft. We've actually got five swordfish. We've got four of the Fairy Fulmars, which is one of my favourite aircraft from World War II. And then we've got four of the Blackburn Skuas. So uh, it's all going to look quite nice with all those aircraft on there. And then we've got an actually included stand, which would look nice if you painted it up nicely. And then we've got the catch fencing going in there, adding the island, adding some of those guns in. Job done. So very, very nice kit indeed. But as I say, a bit overpriced. So let's have a look what I've got in the box. So here are obviously the whole halves and as you can see they've been glued together and I managed to get them apart. The reason I wanted to get them apart is the gentleman that built this um, actually put filler, green stuff filler around the bottom and when I actually looked I could see the filler from the inside so there were gaps. So I wanted to get rid of that so basically took the whole halves apart and the deck had never been glued on so the deck's here in perfect condition that's all good. So i um, happy that that looks. And then in the box we still have the partition and as you can see here I mean in, in the description it said new all in urban bags and everything and as you can see clearly that is not the case but you have to think to yourself if you're gonna build it it doesn't matter if, you, if you're buying something cheap to sell it on then obviously people don't want to buy stuff that's all like this it's like a lot of the kits I review the bags have been opened it reduces the value immensely but you can see a lot of it is in sealed bags we've got the um, there's the skewers. There's some swordfish in there. There's some more swordfish. All these parts here, which I've actually bagged up, and they were taken off the sprues. We can see there. There's those those bulkheads that go between the hull halves. And you can see I've added the pins and drilled the hull half and everything. There's the stand, like new. There's a, a bag of sprues there, which are your cranes and everything. They're like new. There's some more aircraft there, so that's all like new. We've got the photo etch here. We've got all the photo etch. We've got the the wing supports for the swordfish, we've got all our railings and catwalks and stuff in there. And then we've got another couple of sheets of photo etch here. So those there, we've got those um, bits that hang out the sides, wherever they are, we've got some steps, got some more railings and bits and pieces. So uh, it's all there and it's all sealed up and unused. And I'm really happy with, with my purchase because I paid for this. I paid £90, which I couldn't believe. I thought that was an absolute bargain. And as you can see, we've got sprues here with parts taken off. They are the bulkheads. Um, I think there's a couple of funnel parts missing as well. We've got these four sprues here. And they're all complete. With our ship's boats and our guns and everything on, they're all complete. We've got um, these parts here off the ends of here are missing. They're actually parts of the bridge that I've got in the, the island, should I say, that I've got in the bag. There's our rudder there. This, as you can see, this sprue is untouched. And then we've got this sprue here, which is all our hangar decks and everything. You can see there's lots of detail on those. Lots of sort of raised detail. And then we got our, our fore and aft decks there with the chains and everything on them. That'll be replaced. So uh, all very nice indeed. So yeah, I paid £90 for this. So I was more than happy with my purchase because, as I say, with a retail of 145 I was more than happy to pay 90 because you know that's basically 
it's like getting 50, 60 quid off. Now, I'm sure I could have got it for cheaper somewhere else. I looked on Amazon and it wasn't very cheap. But basically, I've done a bit of work, got it all apart, and back to having a new kit. And there's nothing I can't sort out. I mean, it's a it's a simple seam on a hull. It's going to be glued together, sanded and dealt with. And that's all fine. So that's that. But the main reason for making this video is to show you that you really can get yourself a bargain. Because not only did I get the kit for £90, I also got these here. So these are, let's zoom you in now. Let's bring you in. So these were... Um, these are 6274, so these are the fairy swordfish made by Trumpeter. They're in the run 350th scale, you've got all the parts and all the PE in there, you've got your painting guide on the side. And as I say, there's six of them in there. So there's another six aircraft, so we've got 11 swordfish in total. So that was also in the box. We also got these fulmars, there's six of these fairy fulmars in the box. As you can see, all brand new, all unopened, all sealed, just like you all ready to go. So they were in the box as well. And again, you don't get separate instructions, you get instructions on the back of the box on how to assemble them if you actually need that, and then you've got a painting guide on the side. And I think I had decals in there, didn't I? Did I have decals in there? There we go, there's decals. We've got our RAF wrangles and everything on there, so that's all cool. So they're probably even unopened. So, you know, that's, that's brilliant. But not only did I get those, I also got these. <laughs> Here's our Blackburn skewers. Again, we've got six of those in there. Decal sheets, we've got instructions there, and painting guide on the side. So there we are. Look at your painting guides, because I, I think the, plate, the aircraft actually changed over time. So if you're going to build her as 1941 or whatever, I think it's all a bit different. So that was all in there as well, which I thought for £90. I mean, we're up to, what are they, about, say they're about £7 or £8 each. You know, we're up to 170 quid now, but not only was that in there, we also had this. The British Aircraft Carrier Art Royal Top Drawings from Witold Koshula. And it's a Kagera production, it's in Polish and in English, and we've got drawings in 1-200 scale, so that's nice. And you can see in here we've got all the drawings, and the book is very nice indeed. Let me zoom you back out a bit. There we go. So... The book is very nice indeed. You've got some history about Art Royal there. We've got an aircraft that she carried. We've got the armament that she's got. And then we've got some photographs here. You can see here's listing before she went. Um, and yeah, very, very nice indeed. Very nice book. Got some lovely detailed drawings. As for their accuracy, I do not know. So it depends what their original reference material was. But you've got drawings in there, so you have some sort of reference if you want to rely on it. You've got the aircraft in the back there. You've got the ship's boats. Got a couple of walruses. I'm thinking I might get a couple of walruses to go on this because they are nice. And then we got our lovely, lovely guns all set out there, guns and cranes and everything. And um, I wish it would tell you what they're there. That's cranes. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about are those things that stand up on the sides. So um, yeah, all in all, these things here. See these things here sticking out. That's what I want to know what they are. You can see them here sticking out as well. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to know what they are. But basically, it's great. I mean, that's probably £12, £15 pounds worth. So now we're up to nearly 200 quid. And we've got the drawings in here, which are all, like, new. All folded up neatly. As you can see, this is um, these are 1,400 scale, these drawings. You can see we've got colour colour guide there for... This is as she sank. So that's, um, you can see we've got a two-tone scheme there. And we've also got the degaussing cable. So that would be nice to do it as that because it's a little bit more colourful. And it's nice to build, build ships as they sank, in my opinion. That's what I like to try and do anyway. But uh, you can see we've got the swordfish on the back there. Very nice indeed. And then we've got another lot of drawings there, which aren't on glossy paper. You can see there's the 200 scale. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A 200 scale Art Royal. Lots and lots of portholes. Yes, I call them portholes. And then we've got another, that's the stern there, in 200 scale. So uh, very, very nice. That's how she appeared in 1940. 1940. And then if we flip over, I think we've got 1941. I saw some pics. It's got 1940. And then we've got 1941. They included the gaussing cable. Which makes me think. There we go. 
from that era, 1941. Uh, and she's got a negotiating cable, so very interesting. So I would like to build it as 1941 because that's the as she sank, and also she's got two two colour hull rather than the one colour. So yeah, I mean that that was in there as well. So you know, brilliant, great. But there's one big bonus this kit come with, and this is what I'm saying: when you're looking at second-hand kits on eBay look at the pictures, study the pictures and see what's in that box because I saw something lurking in the back of the box and it was this wooden deck and I thought hmm that's interesting and I could see that number and I thought I wonder what they are and then I realised it's part of this this is the Verifier 1 350th scale Art Royal Detail Upset and if you have a look online for this set. I think you'll find it's pretty much unavailable these days. When it was available it was about 160, 150 quid. And there it is. Backed up, brand new and untouched. So now you can see what I'm on about. You know, shop around, get yourself a bargain. One thing I have noticed that is funny about this. It's got eight of the 114 millimeter barrels. There should be 16. It's got 12 of the 40mm barrels, I think there should be 48. And it's got 16, there should be 32 of the 12.7mm barrels. So I don't know what they were thinking. Um, they've got enough barrels basically to do one side. So <laughs> we'll have to make some more barrels or get some more or whatever. Um, but as you can see, it's a very, very complex set. You can see these these 1 3 50th um, pom-pom guns. They're absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the four barrel machine guns. And then we've got lots of resin, lots of photo apps, the instructions are awful, but uh, yeah very very nice indeed for the price of paying, you see our wooden decks there and then we've got some photo etch decoration for those big buttresses which obviously you'd cut the um, plastic away from behind them I think, but uh, really really nice, there's those things I'm talking about, I don't know what they are, and then here we've got more photo etch railings, we've got the, the catch net there, uh, bits and pieces, and then we've got photo etch for the aircraft. I haven't looked how many we've got, but uh, we should have at least enough what's in, this, in the box. And uh, as you can see, photo etch anchors. There's not much of the kit left after you finish with this because there's also a big bag of resin. All your lifeboats are redone in resin, the actual funnels redone in resin, and we've got all sorts of bits and pieces and dinghies and uh, life belts and all sorts. And then there's the barrels in there and then we have a big bag of photo etch I can get it out as we can see here we've got a sheet A so you can see there's one sheet there and then there's sheet B See, is mainly made up of railings and steps. And then we've got our degaussing cable there on D, which is nice. It's all the shapes and everything. You have to use that, don't you? And then we've got what's that? That's D. So now we're looking at E. E is the ship's railings, bottoms of the lifeboats, some buttresses and stuff. Very, very fine parts, very small parts indeed. F is the basis for our ship's boats. Then we've got the tops of the ship's boats. It looks like we've got the um, actual cabin frames there for the boats and oars as well. Got some oars there. All very nice. And then we've got G here. There's some catwalks by the look at. We've got the catwalk going around the stern or the bow, should I say. And then we've got the anchors there going across the middle. And we've got those big boom things, whatever they are. And then we've got some portholes. Lots and lots of portholes. <laughs> Drive you absolutely crazy. And then we've got some very long steps. And then some bases for guns and stuff. And then here we've got some more bases for guns. And there's the frame for our quads. And then here we've got three sheets the same. And these are for our um, eight barrel guns. 
and that's the bases and everything there you can see the tread plate on there so they're going to be absolutely amazing but literally do your head in so uh, especially for someone like me who's not very good in the site department so basically yeah that was just a quick show of the what i found on ebay and as i say i paid 90 quid well 91 pound i think i paid for it so for that little lot you know even though the kit is started even if i threw the kit away and went and bought another kit I would have spent a total of what 230 pound and I would have all this so you know it's really worth looking around guys and shopping about I mean this I saw in the um, eBay picture with all this stuff laid out and I saw this down in the bottom corner like that I saw this green I thought, what's that like I say and I started looking around and um, realized what it was and thought oh I'm having that so uh, there we go but certainly, as I said, the instructions are bloody awful, but you can't help that. So there we are, guys. Um, HMS Art Royal. Bargain buy. It's how, it's how to go shopping around. Just keep your eyes open. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me. And I'll, uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.